Hey everyone, thank you so much for checking out this quick interview that I'm doing with Alaric Yong. How are you today, Alaric? I'm good, I'm good. All the way from Singapore. <laughs> All the way from Singapore, but we matched up the time zones. 8 p.m., yeah. 8 a.m., it's pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, thanks for jumping on, I appreciate it. I'm excited to talk to you about uh, Facebook ads and Facebook marketing. I know everyone watching in my audience is something that they're interested in. And I get a lot of people saying, you know, why should I get into it? Should I start? When is the right time to start? Um, so I'm excited to cover some of those topics today with you. And hopefully, you know, I know you're going to give us some really good info. So everybody watching, make sure you stick to the end. And uh, Alaric's going to give you some really good uh, details coming through. So give us a quick summary of you. I see all these YouTube videos. You've been featured. Um, you've had all these businesses. Uh, give us a quick uh, lowdown on what you've been doing. Okay, so basically I've done five different businesses before. So my first business was a healthy food delivery business. So I see what I do with a bank. So they had like 10,300 of their employees, right? And we delivered food for their employees. My second business was an entrepreneurship platform. So I built a sales team of like 140 people in 10 months. So I was leading a sales team of 140 people in 10 months back when I was like 19 years old. And then my third business was a sales and marketing agency uh, where I generate leads and uh, increase the sales of uh, business owners. Uh, like in property, insurance, and different industries. My fourth business was a six-figure e-commerce business selling cosmetics. And my fifth business is this coaching and seminar business, where right now we have built the largest Facebook marketing community in Singapore with over a thousand members. And wow. we did more than a million dollars in the last 16 months. Yeah. Wow. That's so, congratulations. Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. So it's all, it's all been online. So you've been, I'm sure, evolving as the online space has changed. Yes. So um, Facebook ads, honestly, now with the coronavirus has, has been cheaper. It has been cheaper by about 20 to 30%, which means, the, which means now is a golden time to advertise because um, as people stay at home, there's more attention, right? So um, marketing works on the demand and supply of attention. So um, when more people stay at home, they use social media more. So there's more attention, right? That's true. And lesser businesses advertise because a lot of them are shrinking their marketing budgets, right? So when supply increases and demand drops, naturally the price of attention drops. And that's why a lot of advertisers are feeling a 20 to 30% uh, reduction in their advertising expenses, yeah, which means way more ROI for them, yeah. That's really cool. And I'm glad you brought that up because I did sign up for your webinar. You've got a webinar coming up where you talk about the Facebook and the coronavirus and how that's going right. to, you know, why you should jump in now. Uh, what yeah. are some things you're going to share on that on that webinar? So, so I'll be sharing why uh, the coronavirus is the best time to, uh, you know, get clients, right? And how do you get clients while staying at home? So let me just show you, for example, like um, today, what happened, uh, like how, like what happened today? Uh, today is like, today is 21st April, right? Yeah. So today I received $18,000 and wow. $3,000 and $490. So that's about twenty. For uh, about twenty two thousand dollars today, right? And then this was what I received on twin uh, on um. This was what I received on twentieth April, right? Okay. This is what I received on eighteen April, and uh, and seventeen April. So it's, it's constantly Facebook. come every single day, and a lot of them were uh, like ninety percent of them came from Facebook ads and Facebook marketing. Yeah. That's awesome. So <laughs> it's the best time to capitalize on this, right? Um, even during a coronavirus like that. This is the best time to learn new skill sets because if you don't learn new skill sets, you'll be eliminated in the marketplace. Yeah. Right. Now, what about when somebody says, well, I don't know how to do the Facebook ads. I don't know how to do the, the marketing. Is that something that you're going to help out with also? Awesome. So I'll, I'll be doing a free training, right? Uh, and I'll be showing you how to run Facebook ads. Uh, it's just a three-step process to run a Facebook ad. A lot of people think it's really, really complicated. Yeah. And in 90 seconds, I'm going to show everyone how to run a Facebook ad. In 90 seconds, everyone and learn how to run a Facebook ad. Yeah. Now it's not boosting their post, right? That's what a lot of people used to do in the past. So boosting posts is a one way of running Facebook ads. Of course, yeah. there are like 11 different objectives when you run a Facebook ad, like send messages, lead forms, conversions, etc. Yeah. I'll be going through real briefly about them and uh, sharing with you how you can, I'll be sharing you like real case studies of ads that I've run that have made hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and why all of, and regardless of what industry you're doing, it will be able to generate leads for yourself. Yeah. That's actually a question I get a lot is what, sh what should I put in for my Facebook ad? Do I put a picture? Do I put a video? How long should the video be? I get those questions all the time. So I'm glad I'm able to uh, send them your way with those questions. Yeah. So the best would be to split test, right? So like, for example, what I do whenever I run a Facebook ad is to do this thing called running a dynamic creative. 
which means I run like 600 different variations of an ad. So I have like five images, five headlines, five tags, five descriptions and everything. So Facebook will automatically um, permutate all the different variations and launch it into the market. Yeah. So uh, the, the, the best way is to speed test. But of course, there are different copywriting formulas, like for example, talking about the pain or, or like having an attention grabber and then talking about your story and then having a hook story and offer, right, to, to hook the audience. So there are different copywriting templates you can use. By the end of the day, it's all about speed testing. Yeah, you won't know what wow. works until you test it out in the market. Wow, I like that. That's really good. What is, um, so we just saw your results. That's awesome. You're the pro at it. Do you have a client uh, results you can share with us? Maybe that so, watched so the I webinar a, that you've helped. I have a client who's like um, 21 years old. Last week in two hours, he made about 21,000 Singapore dollars. Uh, 21,000 Singapore dollars is about 17,000 US dollars. And, and he's 21 years old. I've got other clients who are like 20 years old and they're making like $46,000 a month. And uh, I've got clients as old as maybe 50 to 60 or 70 years old. I've got a client who's like 60 years old and until today, he's still generating leads. Until today, he's still making a pretty decent income, like maybe a three to $5,000 a month, uh, yeah. just generating leads while staying at home. Okay, It's not super amazing, but I, I would say that um, that's pretty good for a yeah. retiree since he's, gonna be, he's, he's retired already. Yeah. So really um, I've got a lot of clients who generate a lot of leads and uh, yeah, so it, it works. Yeah. All right, Regardless so of their age and their industry. All right, so you'll teach kind of um, all of it, right? You're going to say, hey, this is where you should do the ad. This is what you should post. Right. This is how you can do it in three easy steps in less than five minutes. Um, that's pretty yes. good. So I, I signed up for that. So if anyone wants to check it out with me, I'll be on there asking questions. Yeah, I'll put the link down below to register if you all want to attend that. Uh, if you all want to attend that as well. Yeah. All right, awesome. Now, do we have to do, um, uh, be on a webinar? Do we have to do a webinar ourselves if we decide to do Facebook ads or can we do other variations? No, you can do, uh, okay, so now in a coronavirus, right, there's only a few ways to close clients. Either number one, you bring them on a call to close them or a Zoom call, either a phone call or a Zoom call, mm -hmm. or you do a webinar, or you do an evergreen webinar, either a live webinar or evergreen webinar, or the fifth way is to have a sales page that sells to them automatically. Yeah, these are the only five ways to sell to someone uh, during a crisis like that, and all of them use internet marketing. So yeah. um, you definitely need to watch this training, you definitely want to watch this training, and you're going to get so much of value uh, from it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me today. That's good information. So I'm going to be taking notes when I join the webinar and I'll, I'll let you know what I get out of it. And All right. Cheers, and everyone, man. Everyone you. watching, make sure you click the link, check it out, and I'll see you guys on this webinar. Thanks. All right. Take care.